Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Apurva, your host. Uh, last time I shared with you Zion National Park, but a visit to Zion National Park is not complete until you visit Bryce Canyon National Park, which is just over an hour drive from Zion. So today I'll bring forth to you the enchanted world of Bryce Canyon, where you can meet the queen, see Thor's hammer, walk in the wall streets, cross the two bridges and hike the hoodoos. I'll start with the most uh, mesmerizing and relatively lesser known uh, or hidden gem of the park. Uh, it's called the Mossy Cave Trail. The Mossy Cave is outside the park entrance, roughly four mile drive east on Highway 12. It's a small hike, uh, 1.5 mile round trip leading to a cave with dripping mosses uh, during the summer. But the best part of this hike, and the reason I call it a gem, is because of the surreal waterfall you'll get to experience. Uh, and if you enjoy taking a dip, this is a complete paradise. Trust me, guys. Just take a look at this. Uh, the water is crystal clear, and the desert back backdrop makes it a beautiful oasis. I would say this is definitely a must do. Please do remember, parking is limited here, and you have to be patient to get your turn. Um, yeah, this is something you cannot miss. So Bryce Canyon National Park is predominantly an 18 mile scenic drive. You go inside and drive out. Here driving is generally not very troublesome and taking a shuttle or not is completely your call. Uh, people generally spend just a day in this park, uh, do the scenic drive and maybe a hike or two. Uh, but I would strongly recommend you spend um, at least a night and full day, entire day or, you know, if possible, even two days uh, to do the best hikes and absorb this mesmerizing place. Uh, that's what we did. We stayed for a night and uh, we, we were here for two half days. So once we did the Mossy Cave, we stopped at the visitor center. The visitor center is very pretty. Um, and uh, please do get the park brochure here. Uh, get any of your questions answered with the park rangers. Uh, also get your national park stamps, magnets and other souvenirs if you would like. Uh, the Price Canyon conducts a fun challenge, hike the hoodoos, uh, which is essentially a scavenger hunt uh, where you hike a certain number of designated spots, I think four of them, and get your pictures as a proof you will be rewarded with some hike the hoodoos swag we drove all the way to the rainbow point uh, which is end of the 18 mile scenic drive the views here are surreal this is also the highest elevation in the park around 9000 feet um, and then you drive back from there we stopped uh, at black birch canyon uh, then came the Agua Canyon. Uh, there are some hikes in these areas, but these are the ones we didn't do and I would not recommend as there are some other uh, hikes which are more popular and must do's. Uh, but definitely stop at these viewpoints to admire the views and see the hoodoos. Um, and yeah, ponder at these nature's wonders. Then comes the very beautiful natural bridge. Now this is really jaw dropping and it is so stunning uh, and no wonder this is the most uh, popular viewpoint. Uh, you can very well imagine why. Uh, so definitely this is a must stop place. After this you can stop at the fair viewpoint. Um, then we stopped later at the Swamp Canyon and Sheep Creek trails. Again stunning views of the hoodoos here. The most beautiful views of the hoodoos and the hikes are in an area called Bryce Amphitheater. Uh, we started exploring this area by visiting the Bryce Point, uh, the Paria view, uh, and then the ever so inspiring Inspiration Point. Uh, Bryce Canyon has some of the most stunning sunrise and sunset one can view, uh, provided you get the right conditions. Um, and they have the sunrise point, sunset point. Um, as it was late in the evening and perfect time for sunset, we headed uh, to the sunset point. There is some good food available in the lodge. Uh, there is Valhalla Pizzeria uh, as well. Um, 
and we ate at the lodge and then headed over to the evening amphitheater program with the park ranger. Uh, the park ranger shared with us the voice of the wildlife that thrive within the park, ranging from mountain lions, bears, to as little as prairie dogs, uh, the Utah prairie dog. We camped at the sunset campground overnight and uh, great, great campsite. Uh, we woke to a hazy yet very beautiful morning and uh, all ready to hike the Bryas Amphitheater. Hikes in the Bryas Amphitheater are a must do and these are some of the best hikes you can do actually in the entire world. Uh, the Navajo Queen Loop is the most recommended one, uh, but we did it slightly uh, differently. Let me show you here in the map what we uh, did. Uh, it's about three mile round trip with about uh, 700 feet elevation gain. Uh, well, let's go through the wall streets. This definitely feels otherworldly. Uh, this is part of the Navajo Loop. Very recently, Queen Elizabeth of England died, uh, but let's meet another queen, Her Majesty herself, Queen Victoria for you. Do not forget to take pictures here for the Hike the Hoodoo scavenger hunt. Right from the Lord of the Rings, I have the two bridges here for you. Uh, well, the pun was intended at the Lord of the Rings two towers. Uh, you get it, I hope. Um, and now we jump into the Marvel Universe and if you are a Thor fan you know it that's his hammer right there with this it was time for us to have lunch and uh, bid adieu to the Bryce Canyon but before that we made sure we spotted this lovely creature the Utah Prairie Dog these are only 10,000 or less alive on the planet all right guys let's look at the tips and suggestions i have for you uh, so the closest airport to the national park is las vegas which is four hours away and also salt lake city which is four hours away uh, but i would say you know combine the visit with zion national park and then las vegas airport is better because it is closer to zion uh, fall and spring is the best time to visit the weather is perfect this time. Uh, we visited in September 2020. I would also strongly recommend to stay at least one night and one full day in the park. Stay within the park in a campground or lodge uh, as they do not let any car enter due to high traffic after a point in the day. So we arrived at around 12 p.m. or I think 1 p.m. and they were not letting any car inside but then I requested saying that I have a, a campsite reserved so then they allowed me to go inside uh, also enter the park early morning or at night to avoid traffic at the entrance um, and then this is very important to the mossy cave trail uh, and the waterfall that comes with it prize amphitheater hikes are also a must do you cannot miss those uh, with that, let me just uh, show you my itinerary, what we did uh, two days and one night at uh, Bryas and we arrived from Zion. Um, yeah, so we did what we wanted to do. I uh, hope you have a great time uh, at Bryas and this video happens to be your one stop uh, place to plan it. Uh, also please do subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't checked out the Zion video, please do check it out as well. Thank you.